respects to you. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik said. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzig wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. My father was a blacksmith, so I've learned a thing or two. Fine, we'll try something more advanced then. Point three. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. dead loss. It'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. <laughs> Right, lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. It's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The boot knocks the blade aside. like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Good. Well done. Try it a little faster. Concentrate and block. Good. Ow. Ah, that's it. Ah, that's it. Try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Oh. 
Go! Go! Captain Bernard! Uh. Wait a while, Henry. Greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Let's go! All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. If the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. You'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Ugh. quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. thing for today. A trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Don't leave yet. Sir Radzig also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. I'd love to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry.
pity on me, a poor wretch. Sigismund and his murderers took everything I had. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing. Put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks, and get in position. Now concentrate. Bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. One of the eye, drop your bow and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in frogs. You would have gotten far there if you're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. What enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. Then release the string. No jerky movement. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it back. It's all one movement. The arrow aiming at the target. Oh, it's to get starting to get home. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself right. better. Just and give those up. arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. That's it then. I don't know what. What did you. Calm down. Braggart. Calm. Anytime. Very well. I have enough. Good. Then let's get to. Didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand. Ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. Ah! <laughs> 
You got the better of me this time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. I could do with a bite to eat. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. I hope he has. Watch it, boy. A few of my men have won fights against him before and never had a problem. But you could be the first. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. I feel quite hungry. What's with you? Come here, Nelly Lipper. Poor wretch. Sigismund and his murderers took everything I had. I feel quite hungry.
what? with you. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have. He trained me and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. 